Hi guys, I'm just going to uh, uh, do something with the uh, leftover paint. I have some um, that I scraped off the table that I made into one color. So we're going to see what happens. So this is it. This is the paint. And don't worry, it's not a waste. It's all leftover paint that I have um, saved up. As you can see, there's a lot of things going on in it. And I just thought I'd see what happens with it. Let's see if we have a good torch here. This one's pretty empty. Let's see. Ooh, there it goes. Well, as you can see, it still uh, sells up pretty nice. <clears throat> and what you see here is uh, lacing. Uh, let me get you guys in a little closer if I can do that without... No, it's not working. Oops, see, then my color goes. Okay. Let's see. Got to get a little thingy going on here. Let's see. There you go. Now this is uh, the lacing thing. For people that um, have asked me about the lacing, how that works. Well, all it really is is putting a really thin layer of uh, another color paint over another darker color or lighter, of course. But I'll show you that again. So putting on a little bit of that turquoise, pulling it down. And this time, this will not be lace, as you can see. They're just cells. But up here, there's lacing, just like this. And I'll try it again with a little bit of darker color. Cleaning off the palette knife. There it is. That is pretty. See how up here it, it really laces up? So there's like just one color. Let me get you in a little bit more into focus, I'm hoping. No, that's not really working. <coughs> but I can tell you this is uh, really beautiful. Uh, this is so beautiful that I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to cut this out. And I'm going to make some uh, mi macro shots of this little bit here. So, uh, ooh, this is going to be difficult, but I'll show you how you do it. Uh, what you can do is just cut this out. So I could just cut this right here, along here. And I love this too. And down here. And this is when you really hate it that you've done it on the plastic on the table. Because, oops. This is really thin plastic. Okay, we've got it. See that? But now we need to slip something underneath. So I'm going to get a piece of this uh, paper. This is what I use. Kodak Extra Life paper because it's waterproof. I'm going to lift up the little tip here. And slide this underneath. Hoping it's going to work. There it is. Eh, you can't see it. Let me get you back. Let's see. There it is. Now it can get you into focus. There it is. See how pretty that is? That is amazing, isn't it? I even like what, what's going down on here. Let's see. There it is. Look at that. Huh, those are the most amazing cells I've ever seen. Okay, let's keep this. Gotta put it away. Okay. 
Sorry about that, guys, but I'm going to do one on paper now. Let me get a, uh, a little thing to clean my hands. Because I really liked how that turned out. Let's see. Let me get you back into focus. If my iPad is willing, there it is. Now, that is pretty too, this whole piece. Now I'm sort of sorry I didn't do it on paper from the start. So we'll put on, let's see, we started with this. And this goes to show that you can uh, you can save your paint for a long time. But as you can see, there, there are these little bumpy things in there. Well, you can't help that. That's because it's uh, waste paint. There we go. Cleaning off the palette knife, nice and clean. And we're going to swipe it up and down and hope that all those little booger things don't show up too much. That's okay, but I like the other one better. Come on, give us a little bit of focus. There it is. I'm pretty sure we can take out some nice little pieces out of this. Pretty sure of that. But let's just go for the next one. So first off, I'm going to slip this on the card. There we go. Because I'm going to do a little cleanup in a bit because I want to start painting. But I just thought I'd show you how I like to play with the paint. This one's okay too, but I'd like something going a little swoopy. And that's not going to happen, I see, because the paint is way too thick. <coughs> yeah, I got a cough again. It's from work. Um, we had the, uh, the central cooling system. They had to fix it. They put in new uh, filters and all that kind of stuff. But we, were, we had to go without for a week. Yeah, about a week. And then they do it when Holland gets one of those heat waves. So you know what happens, um, especially in big office buildings. The air gets really bad and it starts to really stink. And um, the humidity climbs like crazy. And it's not really good to work in. <clears throat> We'll keep this one too. Kind of like it. This is always the same. In the weekend, I run out of space to put the, all this stuff uh, on. Um, I know that you guys really like me doing the um, the pressure thing out of the uh, plastic plastic bag, and I do too, but I think I will get a little bit of plastic. This is just like a cling wrap, so you have it in your kitchen, I'm pretty sure. We're going to put some of that color there, a little bit of darker turquoise, and then we're going to put in the light, light color, and we're going to put in a darker color, and maybe a little bit of green, although this went really thin because I put too much water in it, but we'll see what happens. Then a little bit more of this color on top. That's a lot of paint. Well, let's put some more paint. And instead of doing this on a card, I just might do it on a canvas. Why not? Let's put all the paint in there. There it is. 
Now, let's pick this up. There it is. And then we turn it so that it has a little bit of pressure going on. Not enough pressure, I see. Okay. Now I need a canvas. <laughs> Look at me. Okay, we got a canvas. Uh, we didn't put the push pins in, but who cares? Now, here we go. Putting a little bit more pressure on the whole thing. Ooh, that didn't go well. Where did it all go to? Oops. <laughs> Uh-oh, that wasn't good. Let's put some more paint on there. It went all over the place, but not on the canvas. Let's see what we can make of this. This is an old canvas that I washed before, so I'm guessing it won't be such a big deal if we mess it all up. That's kind of nice. I'm going to blow it that way. Let's see what we get. kind of nice. That sort of reminds me of some sort of fish fins or something like that. And we're going to come in again with some more paint right through the middle. And a little bit more. Then we're going to turn it around. Not really uh, digging this, but we'll see. Still got some paint to play with. A lot of lumps in this one. Okay. I'm going to get my little silicon tool. I'm going to put the brown smack right down the diagonal in the middle and we're going to pull it like that and see what happens that's one way and now the other way. That's what happens when you don't clean your uh, silicon thing. You gotta really clean it every time you swipe it because that's important. That's it. Now, <clears throat> let's hold it up. It is fun, but I'd like it to do some swoopy things, I think. So, there it goes. See that? That sort of makes it move.
and run down again. And as you can see, these are getting a little bit bigger. Uh, I don't even think it's ugly. I kind of like it. Let's just cover up all the corners and the back. There, this side. I think it has something really pretty. Look at that. Wait a minute. Can you see that? I like where it's going. Let's just m move it a little bit more. There it is. I'm going to keep it like this. Although I don't like what's going on here in the corner. See that? I don't like that. And these, these I don't like either. So let's see if we can do something with that. We're going to pull right through them. And torch them. Nope, nothing going on. But I think um, they're le less obvious now. Let's see if I can get you back in focus here. There you go. Now, I think I, I think they're less obvious. So I think I'll keep it like it is right now. Maybe this one I don't like either. And the rest I can live with. Although this one pops out too. I would like to have that one disappear. There it goes. We're keeping it. So this is just me, you know, using up the old paint. And it went everywhere. Look, it even went on my new spritz bottle. Okay, do I have some paint left? No, I don't. Let's pour some on then. This is the last of it. And then I'm going to do a big cleanup. And then we're going to come back and do some serious pouring. I think I'm ready for a big pour, you know, one of those 40 by 40s. And this one. Oops, that one too. That's it. There it is. Keeping this one too. And the last bit of paint. This is the last of it. A little bit of this color. A little bit of this color. There it goes. Now, let's put that all together. And put our hand in it. There it is. And let's torch this thing. Oh, it's not going very much better. Now guys, this is how you torch your paint. And as you can see, all the cells popping up. And it is plastic, so if I were to really keep the torch on it too long there would be some serious damage to my hand but this is just to show how you just swipe over it and as you can see we got cells 
So you just swipe over it. You don't touch the paint because I had a question about that on the channel. Someone said, uh, you're touching the, uh, the, the canvas with the torch. I'm saying, no, 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 don't do that. That is very dangerous because then you get the fumes, then you get the burnt paint and uh, you get a skin on top and that could be the problem that some people are having um, when they're painting cracks because if you torch too long you'll form a little skin on top of the paint and that is already starting to dry so what happens that when the under paint starts to dry it will pull it apart so don't do that that's dangerous but as you can see lots of cells and I'm wishing that I did this on paper now because look at that. Is that beautiful? That really is. Especially that there in the middle. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay, guys. Now, uh, one more thing. What I'd like to share with you guys. Let's take this off. If you've made it so far to the end of this video, that is. Okay, uh, first I have this. These are um, two uh, colleague artists. Uh, they both do it two by two, so artists till death. Um, I love you all to pieces, you two guys. I really uh, enjoy. So I don't have much time to uh, watch um, other channels, but when I do, I always check out artists till death because I just like what they have to say. They're down to earth. They're sort of like me, you know. I, I just recently heard her say um, um, about the thumbs down. If someone were to leave a, a comment about what they didn't like, I wouldn't even bother about the, the thumbs down because you have, you know, you have your opinion. But when you just thumb down something and you don't even, you know, take the time to leave a comment, I'm thinking, why even bother with the thumbs down, right? Okay. So Artists Till Death, go check them out. You can put this uh, in the uh, YouTube search bar and you will find them. And then we have this one, Rio Sarez. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce it right, but if you put this in uh, the YouTube search bar, you'll find the channel. And they do that, there are two people there and they do um, a lot of funny stuff, you know. If you wanna watch some uplifting video, uh, just, you know, Everyone does their channel a different way, and I think, you know, we should leave everyone to fill that in the way they think they should, because that makes them happy, right? So, I love both of them for different reasons, and both make me laugh, and I think that's reason number one, is that they make me laugh, and they are just so down-to-earth people that I just love them to pieces. So, if you're... um finding Monday, Tuesday, you don't find a video, pop these two in the in the bar, search bar and you'll have fun watching these two uh, channels. So thanks guys, and I will see you all later.